do something about the deficit. They the government's deficit has to be considered in context. So when the government deficit spends, let's say the government spends 100, but they only collect back 90 in taxes. We label that a deficit. And the word itself sounds like some, you know, it's got a negative connotation. It sounds like something you want to avoid. But remember that when the government spends 100 into the economy and only takes 90 back out of the economy, that the extra 10 goes somewhere. And where it goes is into the non-government part of the economy. So almost all of the time, the government is in the negative. That's the red that you see below the zero line there. So the government is almost always spending more than it takes in, which allows other sectors to take in more than they spend. And the, the simple way of saying that in everyday language is that it allows somebody else to save. And the, the people that we want to be able to save money is you know folks like you and me and our our private businesses to be able to take in more money than we spend and in fact it's the government's ability and willingness to run those deficits that allows the private sector to achieve those surpluses. The private sector really needs to live in surplus territory. It can periodically go down and, and run a deficit, but over the long haul, the private sector can't spend more than it takes in. Private sector needs to be in surplus. The government, by its willingness and its ability to spend more than it collects in taxes, provides that cushion for the private sector to save.